This is called a diamond pickaxe. It's in the hit game Minecraft. And the male's name is Julio. I can't find the possum. I'll help you in, buddy. Look at him trying to grab. Oh, hey, <laughs> you're breaking and entering. Oh, might just have to get you with this gun. <laughs> just kidding. I only keep it loaded after 8 p.m. every night. <laughs> Welcome back, kids. Here, shake my hand. Shake my hand. <laughs> Thanks for coming back, guys. It's been so long. Here, go ahead and put these Crocs on. This is a Crocs only kind of house. If you kindly put these on, please don't screenshot that. People in the subreddit make memes about it. Man, I totally didn't expect you guys to come over today. I was just growing up these burgers with my brand new grill, $40 from Dirt Cheese. Whoa! Totally didn't expect you guys to come over. <laughs> this is me on the front cover of the sports section for the Wall Street Journal, as you can see. Ever heard of it? I always grill with this. You guys probably been wondering, oh, Uncle Ben, where you been? Where you been? It's been a few days since you uploaded. Well, I just been over here grilling non-stop for the last 48 hours. I am finally a man and a dad, and I have made it, and now I'm your dad. You're also probably wondering, whoa, why aren't there chickens and Kevin and everything else pooping and attacking you all over your porch? Oh, is this mulch? Did based Uncle Ben spend the whole weekend yeah, mulching his yard and cleaning everything for you guys? Here, have some gushers. Yes, I did. And no, I'm not going to tell you what goes in that adorable little uh, coop that I just built today. Instead, I'm going to tell you about my new little Sulcata tortoise enclosure. Olive and her new friend are in here. That's right. We got Olive a boyfriend. Even though I have no idea where Olive is, she's definitely somewhere in here. Oh, I'm just kidding. There she is. Look how cute she is. But this is the new setup for the tortoises. I wanted to do this because poggers kept coming in and breaking everything down. So did Kevin and all the other boys. Don't worry. We'll just let those burgers burn on that grill. <laughs> Come on. Hello, Pog. So this is Pog's yard. So Poggers will typically at night have free range of the whole yard so that he can attack little vermins that'll come in and try and murder our little baby. But for the majority of the day, this young man stays here with all his fancy new toys. Uh, but he's not allowed in there because look, this is what he does. He walks right into the turtle pit and he scares them at best. And at worst, he's like, oh, this is a new toy. <laughs> Here. So you're probably wondering, old Uncle Ben, how did you make this in such a way as to keep poggers from going into the main yard? This is my anti-pogger setup. I got the big scary halo mask up here so he didn't get scared. I got this nice little pallet here and I used a ton of zip ties. I used this extra little thing that was in the quail coop. Ooh, did you poop? Yeah. yeah. And the other good thing is that this keeps all the dog poop in this yard and it's not just randomly scattered throughout the yard. So we can have a nice little area that's poop free. It still has little ba little babies. We don't have to step in there doo-doo. And everything I set up, Poggers found a way to either get around it or break it down, but he hasn't been able to do that with this. It's been a couple days. I also created this little area for a new segment for you guys. I like to call camping with Pog. Uh, here's your, get in your house, get in your house. Get in this stupid little house. <laughs> Such a dumb little house. Based Poggers is a homeowner now? Get in that little house of yours, boy. <laughs> One more thing I'll say is that this also keeps all these stupid little toys from just being scattered throughout the yard every morning. It also keeps all the other things from being scattered throughout the yard every morning. So when it comes to feeding Mr. Pog, look at these little guys coming over because they think they're going to get some. When it comes to feeding Mr. Pog, I give him that. I could put it in this pet lodge, uh, but he's scared of this for some reason. But the baby isn't. So eventually I'm going to use this to uh, to put the baby's food in. And that's all I have to do to feed him. This is an automatic water. I fill that up every day. Uh oh, burgers are burning. Let's go. Come on, guys. <laughs> Hey, hey, no. I also don't want Poggers back here for a little while because uh, because he's going to end up... Woo! Woo, baby! Woo! Whoa! 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 I don't know what I'm doing. But I got a grill, and you don't. And this was only $40. Ever heard of it? One more thing I'll say is that I put the little tortoises in here so that they can soak. Or one of these little guys in the morning, they soak for about 15 minutes every morning. That's also where they get their drinkies in. This one's crawling in the little... A little water. I'll help you in, buddy. Oh. They like to soak in there as well. One more reason why I keep poggers locked up during the day. All of these are supposed to be closed. And the animals are supposed to be in their rightful places. It likes to run into every coop and kennel and open up all of their doors so that all the babies get all mixed. We got two ducks and a chicken and then another chicken back there, which ain't supposed to happen. But this is my new duck setup. They love it. They swim around in here all day. I made these little stairs. And I put this nasty, disgusting poop over here. It serves no purpose. Uh, this was a free rabbit hutch that I got. And if you're really into the lore of the Urban Rescue Ranch, I have an instructional video on how to build this. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out today. And I have to do that just once every two or three days because it gets dirty real quick. It really gets dirty on the first day. They don't really seem to mind if it's dirty though. But I will say they do like it a lot more when it's clean. Also, this is our little Timbit, little Tim Horton. Uh, it's our little, little Dunkin' Duck baby. Look at it.
think he's about to jump in. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist the baby? I have and I'm wearing all of your merch, sir. Get out of here. This is a duck poop. But we're not trying to go for egg production or anything like that right now. So I'm giving these guys a, a mixture of mostly scratch grains and a little bit of layer pellets. There's nobody in there right now, surprisingly. Oh, there's a couple chickens in there. Hello. The reason why I like to keep these closed is also because Mr. The Baby likes to go into every enclosure here. Go ahead and feed these guys a little bit. Hello, Darcinius. Darcinius is uh, really living up to his name, starting to uh, try to become intimate with these uh, little baby ducks. So pretty soon we're gonna have to separate him. <laughs> Check this out. These are our little Berthas. Uh, they're still being very broody. And I don't think we have any chicks right now, do we? No, I'm just letting them do their own thing. But as you can see, uh, all these guys love this food, but so does the baby. That's why I like to keep them locked up a little bit. Uh, the baby's starting to get a little index here. He's getting really big. He's turning into a little man. Look at him trying to grab the top. One more thing I'll say, oh, picture up there, is that these little guys, uh, for some reason, have an entire pool to themselves over there, but they decide to go in here and drink the water for the chickens. That's also why I like to keep this closed, just because they're dumb animals. But here's a little broccoli. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this little guy up and move this to another spot as well. All right, now, this is my favorite part of the farm. I have started my very own little Julia farm here on the ranch. Look at this, they made their own little nest. And I put all this mesh in and there's virtually no predators here that can hurt them. Check this out. Uh, we have a male and two females. What do you have under there? You have any egg? This young man is the male. And then these are the two Julias, Julia and Julio. And the male's name is Julio. But as you guys know, I have a soft spot in my little heart for quail. I think they're adorable and beautiful. These guys were at Callahan's. They were gonna get, uh, just get eaten. So I went ahead and just picked them up today. We're just gonna keep them. They're gonna live a long, very happy life here. And that we are never going to eat them. At least as long as the money keeps coming in from YouTube and everything else. But if we stop getting views, who knows? So leave a like and subscribe as, uh, if you don't want me to eat these adorable little beautiful quail things. Look at this one. And you guys already know this, but feeding all these animals is as simple as just going ahead and scooping a little boy and throwing it in. Also, the friend we got for Vinny was a boy and he was uh, having a little bit too much fun with her in there. <laughs> well, at least for the time being, I went ahead and gave uh, the boy Vinny to my friend who had been asking and begging for him nonstop. But Bunnies are, in the end of the day, solitary creatures, except for when they're ready to mate and whenever they're babies. Vinny is very, very happy down here by herself. And who knows, maybe we'll have little mini chunguses someday. I've gone ahead and placed your weapons into the Urban Rescue Ranch Hall of Fame. Uh, this one being the most successful. Uh, this one being the second most successful. Uh, we like Fortnite, we like Fortnite, we like Fortnite. This is our iron pickaxe, as you can see. I made that myself. Uh, we got a shield here, a Spartan shield here which is really lovely, but it's just way too heavy for me to realistically use. Omni Shield, the Poggers broke. This is called a diamond pickaxe. It's in the hit game Minecraft. And as you can see, and as you can see, Kevin loves it a lot. Give me your sir, give me a little kiss and lift. Oops, sorry, this is a diamond sword, I suppose. It is in no way a pickaxe. Here, Kevin, let me get in there and give you a little kiss. But the family of Karens lives in there, and I don't spend a lot of time going in there because they got plenty of food and water, as you can see. You guys are probably wondering, Uncle Ben, how do you feed and water all these animals? Well, this is how I automate it. I can even open my bedroom window here and just do this, as you can see. So this I'm gonna flip out because Algae's growing in here real quick. I think we found a little herp in here. Uh, there's a little frog that was living in there this whole time. Where is he? Where'd he go? This is the first frog that I've ever found living on my property. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is an adorable little frog boy. I believe it's a leopard frog. Look how handsome he is. Hey, this is no place for a little frog to live though because just about all these chickens and everything can eat them back here. I know Poggers would, Aaron and Kevin would definitely eat them. And I know you guys really get triggered when I feed a natural forage to my animals. So I'm gonna go ahead and protect this one. But that's it for the yard. But before I bring this little guy inside, I just wanna say just having that water on for a little bit filled up all the waters everywhere around here, except for the chickens, which I will automate pretty soon. Hey, looks like these bad boys are almost ready. <laughs> Soup's on. I'm actually not going to give this to Pog until it's cooled down a little bit. So I'm going to leave it on that side. That's my tutorial on how to grill. Always remember to close your propane tank after you're done. Get dinguses. As you know, this is our temporary herp setup. Uh, I got this for the little turtle. We're going to put the frog in here for now. He's going to be very happy until I have some time to go and release him in a local pond. And he's already comfortably sunbathing on this rock. I went ahead and put a little food in here for this little man, which is still our little secret. You're not allowed to name him. You're not allowed to make memes about him in the subreddit. And you're not even allowed to watch him eat. So I'm going to delete that footage. If it gets in there, it's by accident. This is a little sad. 
set up, but we haven't put any boys in here yet. <laughs> Can you guess what's gonna be in here? There may or may not be a young man living in here. And this is where the turtles go if it gets too cold outside, which it doesn't because it's 80 degrees at night here. All right, guys, that's it. I'm gonna go grab some glue to put this on this hat. Uh, also, I'm gonna go ahead and ship out all of your little pigeons here. Uh, tomorrow, I have a lot more of these bubble mailers coming in the mail, about uh, 2,000 of them to be exact, and I'm gonna be shipping out all of your packages. All right, guys, that's it. I got them to say, I got the people in China to put the Urban Rescue Ranch on here. I hope that was worth the extra month for them to get here. <laughs> but that's it, guys. Uh, they're all here. By the end of the week, they will all be shipped out. Uncle Ben's gonna be working double time. You might not get as many videos this week. Uh-oh. I can't find the possum, Poppy, anywhere. So if you guys can help me find her, I have no idea where she is, and I can't find her at all. Okay, let's go ahead and get Poppy back outside where she belongs. Come on. <laughs> you belong outside, Poppy. Goodbye, Poppy. Everyone say goodbye, Poppy, in the comments. We're probably never going to see you again, I'm sure. All right, guys, that's it. You're never going to see her again. And she definitely isn't pregnant. And she's a wild animal. Goodbye. Ah!